Before reviewing the graphics associated with mechanical ventilation, it's important to understand how ventilators deliver breaths. A mechanical breath is classified based on three main variables called phase variables. They dictate how the breath starts, how it's delivered by the machine, and how it stops. A breath can be started either by the patient called a supported or assisted breath, or by the machine called a controlled breath. This is known as the trigger. After the breath starts, the machine delivers gas to the patient in a set pattern throughout inspiration, which is called the target variable. The two main target variables are a specific inspiratory flow rate or a pressure goal. The breath delivery stops when a certain amount of time has passed, or the ventilator senses a decrease in the patient's airflow. This is known as the cycle variable. Any combination of these variables can define the type of breath delivered by the machine. Ventilator waveforms or ventilator graphics are graphical descriptions of how a breath is delivered to a patient. These include three scalars, flow over time, volume over time, and pressure over time, and two loops, pressure volume and flow volume loops. Graphics are waveforms that represent the interaction between the patient and the ventilator. The purpose of monitoring these graphics is to enable the interpretation, evaluation, and troubleshooting of both the ventilator and the patient's response to it. They help monitor the patient's disease status, assess their response to therapy, and ensure the ventilator is functioning correctly. Additionally, Graphics allow for fine-tuning of the ventilator to reduce the work of breathing, optimize ventilation, and enhance patient comfort. Scalars on conventional mechanical ventilators are representations of specific respiratory parameters over time. The three scalars commonly utilized are volume, pressure, or flow plotted on the vertical y-axis against time plotted on the horizontal x-axis. Pressure and flow are measured values, while the volume of each breath is a calculated value. Each scalar represents the entire breath from the beginning of inspiration to the end of expiration. Most ventilators have these three scalars displayed on the main screen. Though I have shown these waveforms as an example for scalar waveforms, their shapes can vary depending on the mode of ventilation. During mechanical ventilation, scalar waveforms can appear in one of six basic configurations or shapes. I will just introduce them briefly here and more will be discussed when we discuss individual scalars. The first type is the rectangular waveform, also known as the square wave or constant waveform. This waveform maintains a constant value over time, meaning that once a particular value is set, it remains stable throughout the duration of the breath. Such graphics are seen during pressure or volume control ventilation. The second type is the descending ramp or decelerating ramp which is characterized by a gradual decrease in value over time. This means that the waveform starts at a higher value and then slowly tapers off as the breath progresses. Next is the ascending ramp, also called the accelerating ramp, which is the opposite of the descending ramp. In this configuration, the waveform starts at a lower value and gradually increases over time, showing a steady rise as the breath continues. The fourth type is the sinusoidal waveform, often referred to as the sine wave. This waveform mimics the shape of a sine wave, creating a smooth, repetitive oscillation. It represents a breath that gradually increases and decreases in a rhythmic pattern, resembling the natural breathing process. The rising exponential waveform is the fifth type, and it displays a sharp increase in value, 
followed by a gradual plateau. This means that the breath delivery starts off with a rapid rise in value, which then levels off and stabilizes as the breath continues. Finally, the decaying exponential waveform shows the opposite pattern to exponential rise. It begins with a sharp initial value that quickly decreases, following an exponential decay. This type of waveform is typically seen when the breath starts at a high level and then decreases rapidly, tapering off as the breath completes. Generally, the ascending and descending ramps are considered the same as the exponential ramps. If you have carefully analyzed the configurations of six basic waveform patterns discussed earlier you might have noticed that certain patterns appear only with some scalars. For example, square waveforms appear with pressure and flow, and descending ramps do not appear in pressure waveforms. So the type of waveforms also gives you an idea of the types of scalars you are looking at. Again, we will revisit all these waveforms as we discuss individual scalars and modes of ventilation.